My younger son was two and a half years old. My eldest daughter was ten. They took my husband along the valley. I ran to my parents' home. I asked my brother for help. He said, you have to breastfeed your children. Go home. He went towards Kalanga, and I went towards Saleri. As soon as I reached home, my niece said that three of her husbands had been brought to the village. Nine had already been killed along the river yesterday. I fainted. I lost consciousness, and when I woke up, I was hysterical. When I wanted to see my husband, the villagers said, she will not leave the dead. So they pretended to take me to my husband, but took me through another path and brought me back to my village. I did not see him again. Back then, the people from the village would not enter the houses of those who had passed away. They also believed that looking at a widow's face brings misfortune. When they insulted me as a rari, I felt there was something really wrong with me. If I had been alone, I do not know what would have happened. But nine of us became widows at the same time, and none of us was able to perform the funeral rites. My children were still very small and I felt depressed and alone. Five, ten, twenty, twenty-five rupees. I could not even read the numbers on the money. My husband was already dead. I thought about the clothes I was wearing. If they tear, what will I wear? Or the clothes of my children. If they were torn, how would I cover their bodies? In the evening, no one would stay at home. The women, the men, and the children all would go into the jungle. In the monsoon rains, when there were leeches, and in the cold winter, they stayed under the trees because they were so afraid. For two or three years, I was depressed. No one would come to my home. The villagers carried on with their lives in their own homes. They avoided the houses of the killed persons because they were afraid that those people would come back again and kill them too. After a long time, GIZ came. However, I was alone and I could not go immediately to work on the road. Then I thought, I have to go, I will get rice. The children were going to school, so I said, go to school and when you come back, give grass to the buffaloes. I will go and work on the road. I will bring rice for us to eat. For one year, I earned rice. From the second year on, they gave cash as well. With that money, I could buy copy books for my children, and I could even buy the meat. My house was close to the bamboo and orange trees. It was taken away by a landslide recently. My home disappeared within moments. Now I stay in my nephew's house. Before I came in contact with the GIZ staff, I wanted to leave for India with my whole family. I had already found a place for us to stay. When I returned to get my family, I met Jeevan from GIZ in Bangalakheri. I asked him the time as I did not have a watch. He instead asked where I came from and what I do. I told him I was going to India. 
Jeevan suggested that I could work on the construction of a road instead of going abroad. When he heard that I had worked for a nursery in India, he expressed need for such expertise here and offered his support. So I stayed. Bhimadhuri is a Dalit. In the past, in the days of my father and mother, if we were a Dalit, they would not have let you into the house. However, nowadays we do not care about this. We are all the same. We work together, we go on walks together, we sit together and we eat together. Now we were eating rice on a daily basis. Later on, GIZ made us familiar with learning centers. <laughs> what is this number? This is addition. How much is 5 plus 2? Once we learn to add and subtract, our transaction became easier. We can say at the shops that we give this much money and we have to receive this amount back. For example, the ginger farming that we are doing, so much money is involved and now that we can calculate, our mean cannot cheat us anymore. We discussed for example, sanitation, diarrhea, multiple marriages, child marriage and alcoholism. When we drew the community resource map, we recognized that the big problems we faced were water and sanitation. Back then, all the villagers relieved themselves around the village, on the streets, everywhere. The whole village was very dirty and smelled. We agreed that toilets are necessary and made them for every household. In the beginning, we used to treat our kitchen gardens as a place to throw garbage. We learned to take care of them and then had vegetables, even in winter. What will we achieve by planting chilies? Are we going to eat them ourselves? Are we planting chilies to sell? What is the plan? We work the whole year around, but we don't even harvest enough to eat for six months. We agreed to do something about this at the learning center. We decided to plant chilies. The learning center facilitators convinced us that profit would double or triple. According to this advice, we decided to give it a try. People who could not recognize a rupee can now write their names. Because of GIZ, we can write. All the women, 22 to 24 of us, gather in the evenings at the learning center. We chat and discuss, and no one feels like crying. Thanks to GIZ, we can laugh again. Sometimes there is an argument or fighting in the village. Then we go there and sort it out together. <laughs> he comes home drunk and beats me. My work is to take care of the children at home. What can I do? I have come here to ask you for help. Can someone go and call him? It is shameful that this matter has to come in front of so many people. Please end this habit of drinking. And even if you are drunk, how can you come home and beat her? Since this is the first time that this complaint has been raised, our group will only issue a warning. If the complaint is repeated, the group has decided to take stronger action. Please sign this paper. Now the suffering is over. The days of conflict are in the past. I hope that such days never come back.
What has happened has happened. The days of hardship and difficulties are gone. I hope that those who remain do not have to see such times again.